a beautiful morning and uh, today we're supposed to go for a boat ride hopefully that shows up literally just on another beach talked to a guy that sold me the shark tooth and he was like oh yeah we'll come pick you up on monday and we'll go for a boat cruise and take you snorkeling and go to the hot springs and i was like the water is probably freezing for snorkeling right now but um at worst we'll just do extra hot springs and have clams and ride on the boat so it's absolutely gorgeous i don't know i keep saying it but it really is it's just breathtaking um we have been given the news that the lost renegades have decided to head south on tuesday so they're heading down to loretto this is like further south than we'd even planned on going we've already been gone from nico for almost six weeks now and we're probably still a solid week or two from home if we do it in a calm fashion getting home which is kind of our plan hit some beaches on the way back and take our time but it will be sad to separate i don't know there's of course a part of me and kenzie that you're like well maybe we just go a little further but that's what we keep saying <laughs> we're two hours further south two hours further south and uh loretta is only like another two hours and then the next one's only like another couple hours but you know at that point uh will be about 20 plus hours from just the border so and then we still have like another 19 hours to get home but it's been such an amazing trip there's still more to come but it's a little sad to know that we probably are all separating but we'll come back together in Colorado in a month or two so goodbyes are never really goodbyes they're just I'll see you soon all right so our friend Mickey Mouse we so finally call him, has not shown up yet. And he said somewhere between 8 and 9 o'clock because we wanted to see the dolphins and he was going to take us out on the boat. But he's not here. And a very nice gentleman came by with some kayaks, so I think we're going to get kayaks. And we get the kayaks for 24 full hours versus a two-hour boat ride, and it's going to be cheaper. So we're going to go with that. Seems like a good deal. Wait, are you scared of the boat? All right, we got boats. Kind of like this better. I love kayaking and we get it for a full 24 hours. So if we want to go for a sunset paddle, we might. Depends on the wind. He did say going out like in the middle of the bay is not very doable just because the wind is going to be super fierce, but the hot springs are just around the corner. So we have general directions and we're going to make it happen. Label. Está bien. Muchas gracias. It's okay. Sí. Mucho cuidado para allá no. Aquí no más. Sí. Por peligro, por viento. We have to be really careful and don't go too far out. Aquí no más. Only for in here because it's really dangerous. Sí. Out there. No bueno para allá no. Solamente todo aquí no más. Everybody needs fuel before they boat, so we're having some peanut butter banana toast. Yar. Yar. I was just hooking up a dad knife just in case. In case he gets attacked by a great white. You know there's great whites in these waters. It's always better to have a knife and not need it than but they'll need know. it and not have it. You're one of them. Right? Got that shark energy with me. Shark energy? Strong shark energy. How do you say shark in Spanish? Mako. Mmm. Nice. Wrong. Knife. <laughs> no. Word of the day for Spanish in this episode's vlog. Tiburon. Tiburon is shark. How was it? Very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A little boat trivia for you guys. The front of the boat is called the bow because you bow to the front. I teach kids outdoor education, so this is how I teach them. I'm going to teach you. And then the stern is the back of the boat because a stern teacher comes up behind you. Port left, starboard right, and I got a sticker for anyone who can tell me the proper name of this bad boy. So drop it in the comments below what this is. And if you're the first person and you get it right, then we'll send you a message and we'll get you some stickers, maybe a magnet too. We're gonna get this party started. Got the beer packed up, we're all blocked up, sunscreen. Got my big old hat. I'm excited.
What do you think, Yabby? I'm excited. I'm excited. And the wind has calmed down like a little bit too. It's actually blowing us that way. So if we just hug the coast and go to that first little push up, it's not even a right island, but... there. Right there. Gonna go wide on this. There we go. How that damn apple was. It's gonna be freaking sweet. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? You look like a turtle. He is a turtle. <laughs> Lesson number one in a boat: three points of contact when you get in. Otherwise, you could eat shit on your face. Hand, hand, foot. Like slide your. All right, if you were curious if my boat sort of sucks, it does. I got a very light boat and it just like can't can't keep a track. Gingy approaching. It's not too bad so far. My yeah. boat sucks the big one, but yeah, it's not good. But it's all right, I'm figuring it out. Also, my oars, I have a flat oar and a curved oar. Selling. They obviously replaced it at one point. It's called a blade, but yeah, it's okay. blade. he does his best. Whatever. It ain't the best. See what it looks like. Keep you posted. Just around the bend of the bay. God, it's so hard to paddle with one hand. Ugh. Guy said to look for the orange house. Underneath that, we got more water. We found the orange house right back there. Paddled all along the shore. It got slightly warmer, but I wouldn't say it's like a hot spring, unless there's something we don't know in this tiny cove. But. We both paddled up and down it and didn't really find anything. There's some warm spots, but I'm also good with just laying on the beach, getting super hot and then jumping in the water. So it was an adventure at least. Agua termales. I don't know about that. It's like straight white capping out in the bay right now, which in nautical terms is not awesome when you're self-propelling your own boat. So we came back to our nice little beach spot to have another beer. Yeah, the water is moving. Yeah. It's zipping for sure. I but. wound up like stuck in the middle because I went out to go see if the hot springs was like on the other end. And uh, the way the waves were coming, I, you got to put your tip towards the wave. Otherwise, it just crashes right over, especially if this is not like a sea kayak. Um, so I just had to go for it, <laughs> push through it. I was going to like try to film it. And I was like, well, this isn't happening. If I stop paddling, I'm going to wind up back further than I started. All right, the wind has picked up a considerable amount. So we are going to walk our boats along the shoreline until we can't and then paddle. So, how you doing, Yeebies? <laughs> but we actually came back to that little beach that we found before the last Renegades left and had ourselves a little photo shoot. It's been a long time. I was a, a model and a wardrobe stylist for a long time and Chase has always been a photographer, so. We kind of forget to take pictures though since we've been doing YouTube. It's kind of nice to jump back into what we used to do. So we are leaving our private beach. We're gonna go paddle back. Probably have some snacks, some drinks with our besties. That's my little Gingy coming in. She paddling. She apparently ceasing to paddle. She just gonna float up in this fish. Wow, that was a vigorous paddle. Very vigorous. She's got so far ahead of me, he's got them muscles. I'm feeling quite sunburned. So I had to put on my white shirt. But the goal for this afternoon, because we are separating, is we're gonna get drunk eat some snacks and some tacos and hang out and laugh and have fun for as long as we possibly can this afternoon because we're gonna all separate ways tomorrow so 
It's very bittersweet. Wish we could go further south, but we didn't budget for it. We know we're coming back. And it just, it is what it is. So we love our lost renegades and we hope they come see us on the way back. Uh, tuck your titties, watch your toes. Toes. Oh! <laughs> scary. Watch wow. Oh, he's going da, to catch da, that! Da, da, da. Da, da. Oh, well. <laughs> Watch out for her okay, tiny feet. Go ahead, throw feet. it in, throw it in. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does what You're she can. <laughs> She's got Jen, little feet, so it doesn't work as well. Down. We played some bocce ball. Once again, Bus Life Pirates prevail. We won. It was a close game that time. Very close. And boy, I think I much prefer playing bocce ball on the sand than in the mountains. That was wonderful. So we're gonna reheat some pizza bagel, pizza bites, pizza pizza pockets, almost like a calzone. I'm not really sure. I have an oven and Jen bought the pizzas. So we're gonna have some snacks and hang out and just revel in our last night together because it's so thick. Those are said pizza rolls that Jen got. And We both washed our feet in the sink. Chase is now shitting on the counter. What? Well, it's bedtime. We had a really good time with our best friends. We rule a bocce ball. And that's the end of the story. We'll see. See you in the morning. Possibly an early morning paddle. Agility. Like a gangster. Good morning, yippee yeebs. It's the beautifulest day in the world. Yubby yubs, it's the prettiest day in the world. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, he wakes up like this every day. <laughs> every day, he's like, wake me up before you go. go. <laughs> I'm just singing for my yubs. I like to wake her up with songs. It's 6.30 in the morning. We're gonna go paddle. We're getting some paddle on. Paddle on, paddle on. Boom, 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 boom. Yup, 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 yup. Good morning. Yup, 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 yup. Oh, I'm Good gonna morning. kill you. <laughs> My and Yabs likes her coffee to cool down first, so I don't put the lid on just yet. All right, I'm all right. You have a minute. Minutes up! Oh my god. <laughs> That's a stingray! That's another stingray! I've been looking for these little suckers like the whole time. Now I can finally see them. It's cool. Oh, and the mountains are turning colors. You hurt your wrist paddling yesterday? I think I might have. Going a little too hard on the waves. Well, this is a leisurely morning float. We're n I'm not even really paddling. It's weird because it didn't even hurt. It didn't even hurt when I got done rowing or anything. It was last night all of a sudden. Hmm. Today it's like not very usable. I'll still do it, but it hurts. Besides being in pain, do you like kayaking? It's pretty. It's very glassy. Yeah, it's very nice right now compared to yesterday. Yesterday the winds were out of control. Out of control. It was worth getting up early. Plus this is so nice compared to yesterday. The wind was brutal. Oh, it's very nice. I'm referring on top of glassy water, and I see stingrays and handsome yap yap right there. And a little sunset right there. Sunrise, but sunrise, good try. Whatever. He, he does his best. One of the sun things. When you wake up with that much energy in the morning, you, you're bound to get some things wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, best part is I brought my coffee, and I was smart. Put a towel on my little feeties because it was cold getting in the water. I know how it's zippy. I didn't bring my coffee. You didn't? 
I'm barely having two hands. Wow, what a loser. Ah, it's also shaping up to be a beautiful day. So if it's not crazy windy, I think the renegades might stay with us one more day at Santipak, which I'm hoping for. It's really, it's so gorgeous right now. So hopefully that's true and they can get some work done and hang out with us for just like one day longer. All right, we were all just chilling in the Palapa and we had somebody come up and be like, so you guys are the YouTubers? And I got a little blushy, so it's like, <laughs> His name is Todd Brewster and he actually did a documentary on Baja called The Devil's Road and just kind of see it's got a wealth of knowledge in there and all kinds of different stuff so that was a really cool really cool experience so if you're looking for something else on Baja or entertainment on YouTube check it out I'm I'm pretty excited to watch it so I'm gonna put our sticker up that he gave us because this is a cool one. Thanks for the sticker Todd. Go check out The Devil's Road on YouTube. It's free, and it's all about Baja and the flora fauna and how it's changed over the past, uh, what is it, 110 years, you said? 110 yeah, years. pretty cool. Super cool. So definitely watching that when we get service again, but that was a nice little encounter. So we gave him a couple of stickers, too. So I'm sure his documentary is going to be much more informative than what we do, but hope you like it, Todd. If you do see this, thanks, man. It's really nice.